I have here a small level that has three layers, background one, background two, and collation. First thing I want to say is that the naming of the layers is completely arbitrary. You can name them however you want. Let me show you how to add a layer, because I already added them here, but I'll show you how to add one. Just go, just click on here and, cl and click on Add Tile Layer, and then you give it any name. So you, this could be, say, a background three, if you were going to have some extra elements that go on top of the other elements. By using these arrows here, you define which one is show uh, on top. So it's there put um, starting from here all the way up. So for instance, background two goes on top of background one. Everything that's on background two, which are the cactus basically, is put on top of the sky. If you if you swap them, then they would be the other. It would be the other way around. Um, I can also remove uh, layers, so we don't need this background three layer. And um, what you also need to do if you want these these layers to work properly in your Quintus game. You need to define which layers are a background and which layer is a collision layer. Um, what we have to do is um, go to layer properties and enter a property called type for our background layers. Type is used in Quintus to define um, collisions. So if it has a type of zero, it, it means that it's not going to have a collision. So that means it's a background. And we also want to make this a background. The collision layer, we are going to enter a special property called collision and set that to true. Now, after doing this, this level now is um, it, it, these layers will be recognized as what they are once you load this in Quintus.